Norfolk residents were not happy about a giant pothole in the middle of the street. Especially not happy with how long it took the city to fix it. 10 on your side's Kayla Gaskins went to check it out. And you saw the condition of the road today, Kayla. So what'd you see out there? Well, we went out to Westminster Avenue where people reported the pothole and you really couldn't miss it. Neighbors we spoke to today called it dangerous and said it was only a matter of time before someone popped a tire or worse. For the past few weeks, drivers on Westminster Avenue in Norfolk have had to keep an eye out for this. An unusually large pothole taking up almost half the road. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I've called the city. I called them over a week ago. The pothole sits right in front of Stephanie Cutright's house. <laughs> it's just, it's dangerous. She says it shouldn't take the city this long to fix a road hazard. I'm surprised if you hit it very hard, you don't get to blow your tire out or damage your vehicle. To make a point and to show the size of this, Cutright has taken pictures lying down in the pothole. And I laid down in it and there's like two feet of pavement above me in the hole. It's that big. I'm 5'4", but I can lay out spread eagle in that hole. So how big is this pothole? We decided to measure it. Well, it measures almost nine and a half feet long by more than four feet wide. Aside from being a danger to drivers, Cutright says trucks driving over the pothole makes an already loud road even louder. But I would like to see the city fix my street. Well, we reached out to the city this morning about the pothole, and officials got back to us this afternoon saying crews went out there later today to patch up the roadway. Coming up at 6, how the pothole problem affected Stephanie Cartwright's front yard and how the issue spilled over into that. For now, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.